Well, today is the culmination of our four-week summer school program at Lupa Elementary School. And the kids are showing what the efforts of their four weeks of learning to express themselves through the arts is all about. Everybody raise your hand if you're an artist. Whose hand isn't in the air? Everybody's hand should go in the air. High. Put it high up. Don't be like this. I'm an artist. Be like that. Every school in the county, for the most part, hosts a summer school program for children who um, ended the school year not quite at benchmark levels. And so, um, typically, it's a remediation program. This past year and currently, um, we really decided to take a different approach to our summer program. Um, instead of it being looked at through the remediation lens, we decided to look at it through an enrichment lens. Who here knows what the word vision means? It means you look at something in your mind. I think that's amazing. Everything that's out there, somebody had an idea in their head and they made it happen. The artwork that you guys did, you had an idea in your head and somehow that idea grew. It's like your brain is a garden. You put an idea in it and then you give it all that it needs and then these ideas grow and then you make them. This. It's made out of paint, cans, felt. We glued it together onto the wood and uh, we put holes through here and there's um, a big piece of yarn. We know that when children are creating, that they're thinking at higher levels, um, that they're using language typically that they wouldn't use if they're sitting at a desk doing a worksheet on math facts. I gave a mission to my teachers. I said, I don't want to see worksheets. They get that all year, and, and they're not where they need to be. And so, like, what we need to do is we make that we need to make them see school as fun, and we need to make them want to learn more and to want to pick up books to read. Um, and my teachers did a phenomenal job of creating that. There are two other things I want you to think about today, and there are two words: today and tomorrow. What's today? Today. Is it just any day? No. no. Is it a special day? Yeah. About every day is special. So today you're showing off your art. Tomorrow you might be doing art. Tomorrow you might be making music. Or today. Why not today? Why wait till tomorrow? Do the things you want to do today. Because you know what's going to happen? Tomorrow you're going to get to enjoy what you did the day before. That's where vision comes in. Today you have a vision. Tomorrow you see what happens with that vision. The day after that you see what happens with the vision after that. And you keep building and you keep building. And all of a sudden I mean, I think a huge testament th to this is that in four weeks, I never had a student come to the office for a discipline of any kind. Um, you know, and that is, that's a huge, huge statement that when a kid is in my office for misbehaving, he's misbehaving because he's not engaged and he's not inspired to do the work. These kids were inspired and engaged for the last 20 days. And, you know, I think the teachers realize that. And so I'm hoping that each of them, as they sit around the table this year in their grade level teams, they'll share these experiences and this will motivate them to do something as a team coming into this school year. This is where it all starts. You guys making art. Some of you guys work that you guys created is going to be here permanently at the art park. And other people will see it and other people will develop from there and they will have vision. So I want to thank you guys for helping me make this art park. I want you guys to give yourself a round of applause. And so remember, you're all artists and you're always welcome here to make art in the park. And I think that this art park is one place to make art and so are your homes. So your neighborhoods, so your schools, everywhere you are, you can make art because art is the practice of taking vision and making it into reality. Taking today and making it into tomorrow. It's because of community members like the X Art Park that schools are able to do stuff like this. And Brian didn't charge me a dime. As a school with high poverty, I don't have tons of money that I can make these experiences here for our kids. And I'm a really strong believer that the whole purpose of schooling is to give back in the community of which that school is a member of. And to see that that's exactly what Ix is doing, is that they're taking this space and they're calling it a community space. And they're getting kids at a very young age to understand you can give back 
that is that's a that's a true gift, um, and it gives me hope, and, and it gives me it inspires me as an educator and as a leader. <laughs> Excellent! High five to the artist! Woo! 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 Yeah! <laughs> Ciao! <laughs>